everyone, welcome back to Homemaking 101. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make octopus soup bowls. So I'm going to be doing tomato soup and then this is a little bread bowl that looks like an octopus. So they're really cute and it makes supper time really fun, especially if you have kids. So let's get started. Alright, so for our soup bowl we need some bread. You can use either frozen dough or frozen rolls. I went ahead and made my own dough though. I like to make my own better. So you can use whatever bread recipe you want. So I went ahead and mixed it up <clears throat> and I left it rise for about two hours and it's about doubled in size. So we're gonna go ahead and just knead this a little bit. We wanna make sure that it has enough flour in it but we don't want it to be too dry either. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and start kneading here. Because our dough was a little soft to start with, which is fine because we can add, always add <clears throat> flour in as we need. So if you want the bread recipe that I used, look up my video on swirl bread and the recipe is the same as what I used for that. Just keep adding flour in here until we get a nice dough forming. This is pretty much almost there at this point. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my dough in half. Okay, and then I'm gonna divide it in half again. So we're gonna have four balls. All right, so first, we're gonna go ahead and make our octopus legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide one of my balls in half again. And then we're gonna take this one and we need to divide him into the legs. So it's gonna be the legs and then that one will be the head. So we need these into pieces here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Doing six legs. You can do eight legs if you want, but I think six is plenty for what we're doing. So we're just going to go ahead and roll them into a strip about that long. <clears throat> they don't have to be perfect here. Roll them out a little bit. And you want to keep them all about the same length here. Now I did go ahead and get my baking sheets ready. So they are lined with parchment paper. So I have two baking sheets because that should be plenty for this. All right. So there are our legs. All right, so I went ahead and brought my pan over with my parchment paper on. So for the legs, I'm just gonna press them flat as much as you can. Try to spread it out. Okay, and then we're just gonna twist him. Right, and then we're gonna place him in our parchment paper here. So I actually like to double them in half again because I don't want the legs super long. So there's one leg. Press him flat. Spread it out. Just 
then we're gonna twist, 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 fold in half, and twist again. There's two legs. We're just gonna keep doing this with all of the legs. Now you do want your legs to all be touching in the middle here because our octopus body and head needs to hold our legs on. These don't need to be perfect. Just make them look as good as you can. And if you really want it to, you can always stuff your legs with cheese. And then when you tear your leg off and dip it in your soup, you would have kind of like a toasted cheese. I'm not doing that today, but that is always an option. All right, so here is all of our legs. We're just gonna press them together in the middle there. I'm just gonna slide these guys back just a little bit too. So you have to be able to fit two on this pan. All right, so now we're gonna take our center dough. We're just going to form it into a little ball and we're going to sit him right on top. Just like that. Alright, and then we're going to continue with all of our octopuses. So we're going to get a total of four octopus soup bowls. I'm going to go ahead and pick some raisins. We're going to use raisins for their eyes. So pick the side that you want to be their head, the front of their face. And we're just going to gently push two raisins in for the eyes. Try to make sure your raisins are about the same size. But you want their eyes to be similar sizes. So we're gonna do this on all four of them. Now, if they would fall off when you go ahead and bake them, it's not a big deal because you can always cut a hole for their eye again and go ahead and stick it in then. I'm actually gonna wiggle them in a little bit more here. Make sure they don't fall off when they start rising. Okay, so now that we have all four eyes in, our oven needs to be at 350 degrees and we're gonna bake them for about I'm gonna say about 20 minutes and then we're gonna check them and see if they need to bake long. So I went ahead and took our bread out of the oven. It baked about uh, 25 minutes and I brushed it with butter as soon as it came out. So now that they're completely cool I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. So we're just gonna carefully cut just the top off here. Make sure you use a bread knife. And our eyes did stay on very well. And then I'm just going to take a little knife and go around the edge. You want to leave about a quarter inch thickness around the edge because you don't want your soup to run out. I'm just going to cut a circle around here. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and go ahead and pull the bread out of the middle. And you want to be careful because you don't want to pull too much that you're all the way at the bottom because you're super run through the bottom then. So we're just going to get a good amount out here. And then I just press it, press the bottom down, and then I press the edges gently. And then we're going to put our top back on. Like that. And then we're going to move him back onto our pan and then we'll fill him with soup our soup is ready. So I went ahead and heated up our tomato soup. I'm going to go ahead and take the broth and put that aside for now. And we're going to fill it up with soup. Okay. 
press it on top. And then we're going to put his head back on. And there we have our little octopus soup bowl.